Many times a customer may require you to output the data in Excel. Let's see how to use the Excel form important command to create your own custom templates. If you go to insert report command, Excel form report, there are seven templates that you can already use. Let's look at creating, creating our own. First, you will need to create a template in Excel. In this example, I've added the company logo. You can put the desired information that you will want from the report in here. You can use formulas, anything that you can use in Excel, you can create in this template. What you need to do is move this to where PCDMS stores the templates at. So if you copy this, go to C, Users, Public, Public Documents, Hexagon, PCDMS, the version you're using, Excel Form Report, Templates. Paste this in this location. Now, when you go to the Insert Report Command Excel Form Report, you can select the template from the dropdown. Once you've selected this, we need to tell PCDMIS which dimensions you want from the measurement routine to be used on the template. So let's select the information you want to gather. There are a lot of different options. You can review what each one of them are. Once you have all the data you want from there, you're going to highlight those and you're going to right click and hit set as data area. Notice how all the fields turn yellow. Every time the measurement routine runs, it will now populate this with that information. Let's also have the measurement routine automatically generate the part name on this report as well. So select up here where it says part name, right click, refer to part name. There are also two trace fields that are being used, an operator and a machine. If you want to include those on here, right click, refer to trace field and select the appropriate one. Please note that these trace fields have been created in the measurement routine before being selected. The default report will go to this location. If you would like to change it, click on the three dots. You can select any location on a local or network drive. I'm going to select CPCDMIS reports. The default name is part name, serial number, date, or time. If you have a trace field, you can also have it give the report name using one of those trace fields. Once you hit OK, then hit Create. You'll notice at the end of the routine, there's an Excel form line of code that has been created. Now when you run this, once it's completed, PCDMS will output the Excel sheet in that location. We go to C, Reports, there's your custom Excel form report.